right, where to find your Sally Speed system, how to get at it. Firstly, remove the top hose off of here, the top water radiator hose. Swing it around out of the way. Remove your battery. Then remove your air filter housing. There it is there, and you undo these top two clips to get at the air filter, swing it out of the way. Then remove the battery mounting plate. And swing it out of the way. There'll be a few things like this cable to disconnect, and then we look inside. Down here is our Sally Speed system attached to the gearbox. This is the accumulator. This is your bleed screw. Now, you just unscrew it, let your motor, let your pump, hydraulic pump run for a few seconds while it's undone and then do it up to get the air out of the system. There's all the different solenoids in there. The hydraulic pump, the hydraulic reservoir is here and the hydraulic pump Hydraulic pump is down in there. That is underneath there. That's one of the bolts there. There's three bolts hold on the pump. And now, in here, you'll see there's a pipe. two connections under the pump in there. It's all very hard to get at if you need to change the pump, which I have done with difficulty. Now, I showed you the bleed screw, the main bleed screw that is, for the Sally system. Just lift this around. So when the battery is sitting in there, you can actually see this bear with me. Sitting in the the battery bracket is, is you have this plastic underneath the battery between the battery and the bracket now that's to catch any acid leaks from the battery being plastic, 
plastic it doesn't corrode however so you need to take the batch the easiest way to bleed is without disassembling everything I've shown you is just take the battery out and that plastic base and you can get at that screw through through the base so unless you have to get it out it's rather difficult you know there is a a bit of a problem getting this assembly out and a bigger problem putting it back and that's because it has to slide there's a hole in this bracket here and it has to it goes in there to latch to hold to support the battery bracket this end will support the the air filter unit so there's a three bolts one hides up, up in the top here which hold on this bracket the battery bracket which at the moment is looking up here's one, two and three so apart from that I'm not sure uh, I was going to show you the while well, I have it apart I have disconnected the odd thing to get at most things and somewhere here is this is a bracket the bolts out from the from the battery bracket now what's on this I've now turned it up so you can see it but what's on it is here is the hydraulic semi-speed motor relay that is the relay there and it unplugs straight out of there just put a screwdriver in there it'll help and pull on the relay and it comes out so that is the Sally speed pump relay not the one on there not the one on the fuse box it's mounted on this bracket which in actual fact goes vertically so you can just see the relay on top there I hope that helps people find things. Now the system operates just as a normal pumping system. It has a pressure switch. When the motor is turned on it will pump into the accumulator tank the tank down here and pressurize the system the electronics tells you when you're selecting a gear and will operate one of these solenoids to put it into gear and as I said that's where you bleed it from the start now if the accumulator is stuffed what will happen is your motor every time you change a gear select the gear which you can do just standing still not by starting the engine but just put it turn the ignition on and you can flick through the gears 
Now, if, if the pump is starting on every gear, you, it's pretty well concluded that the accumulator is stuffed. The accumulator should allow enough pressure to change gears two or three times before the motor cuts back in. So that's something to look for. The other thing is that there is a, um, a relief valve. If the motor keeps going past the pressure switch, for any, for any particular reason, and it will um, bypass the hydraulic oil back up into the tank. You may get overflow from the tank due to that. Now that can happen when the silly, when the accumulator is stuffed because you're trying to change gears, you, you, you've got the, the pump cuts in, it, um, the tank is not accumulating the pressure, so the pressure's just going through the system, going sky high, therefore the relief valve bypasses the oil back up under here, and it can force the oil to actually come up and overflow. Now the oil level in here is very low, it is, It's not coming out on here, but I put my finger on the end. That is that is on the dipstick. Is the oil level shouldn't be any higher than that. If you do fill it higher, it will spill the oil out onto the ground. So. Just remember that. Good luck. And wish me luck putting it all back together. As I say, I've had this apart before, and while I'm at it, I'll tell you why. Um, the problem was I couldn't get any gears at all, and it was because the pump was not running. Now the relay was okay, the electrics were okay. The reason was that the pump itself is a, has brushes in it and the brushes had worn down. Now I pulled the pump apart and fitted new brushes myself because I'm an electrician and it's somewhat knowing what I was look, doing, but um, it's very hard to get at. Um, and frankly, you best get somebody else to do it. One of your mates who's a mechanic with small hands to get in there. It's not the mounting of the pump, it's not getting the pump in and out. There's only three bolts there, but there's two pipes on, onto the pump, and it's very hard to get out. And they're hydraulic uh, connections, so they have to be perfect, otherwise, it'll leak in the system. It's just not going to work properly. So remember, if your pump is not, if you can't hear the pump starting at all, when either opening the door or turning on the key, then it's a 95% chance it's the brushes in the, in the pump. What you can do to confirm it, is if you get a something like a hammer or, or a bar I'll show you with the screwdriver but that is the top of the bracket there that the um, pump is mounted onto so if you tap that hard with a, a piece of bar steel bar like that a few times with the door open and see if the motor cuts in because what happens is 
the brushes wear down and then they stop touching the, uh, what, the electrical parts in the motor. So by tapping it, you may just make the brush connect. Now it can be, you get different um, results in either hot or cold as well because of the expansion and everything else. But if you tap that and the motor goes, you know straight away, that's your brushes. You've got to take it out and fix it. Um, and that's about all I can help you with for the moment. This is Trev signing off.